There are many hopeful and, and beautiful mo um, movements that are going on today and technologies, whether it's in agriculture or uh, rainforest ecology or holistic medicine, uh, justice movements. Uh, but I would maybe first go to, the, um, to, to something that lies within all of them. And this is returning a little bit to the level of story. Another reason why story is important is that if we don't have a story available to us that matches the healing process we're going through and, and, and the evolution of our hearts and our bodies, then we end up with mind being in conflict with heart. So we need a story that uh, reinforces the recovery of the heart. The, the heart cannot be in conflict with the mind. This is not about, okay, let's start listening to the heart and not the mind. It's to bring them into alignment. Mm -hmm. so, so what I would offer is a new story that starts with, why are you even here as a human being? And all of us, maybe even in this moment, can feel that who we are is life itself. And life seeks its full expression. Life and the full expression of life is to contribute to life. Every, that's true of every being on this earth. It's not just competing to maximize its reproductive self-interest, but its life process is a gift to the world. Whether it's a, a, an insect pollinating the plants or a bacteria fixing nitrogen, or a tree bringing up moisture that feeds the other plants around it. Um, I mean, every animal contributes, every plant, every being contributes to the world. That's what life does, and you are life. And as long as you are alive, that principle of life is active within you, and it gives birth to irrepressible hope, which is why even after the the greatest trauma, there's always a possibility of healing. Just as weeds break through a parking lot and eventually return it to beauty. That is the principle of life that's within all of us. So any movement that connects, that accesses that principle and allows it expression is contributing to a more beautiful world. This isn't really a direct descriptive answer, but I want to name that, I want to name the livingness in, in everybody listening to this. Because simply connecting to the truth of that, I mean, for me, it's actually part of trauma healing to know oneself as basically healthy, that there's a, a principle of health within us because we are alive and life moves toward beauty. Life moves toward wholeness. And this principle even transcends the biological survival and death of the individual. On some level, we, we recognize that our, our life is even more than that. That not even death can stop us from always wanting to grow, to express our fullness, our contribution. I think that it, our society, if personally and collectively, if we affirm this, the truth that we are, that we are life and that we are here to contribute to life and that we are irrepressible in that. We have a very different world today.